In robotics competition, one of the biggest challenges is trying to figure out where your robot is relative to the surface. I built and programmed this prototype, which uses two optical computer mice to tell where the robot is in real time. I also programmed the graphical interface as you can see on the screen. The first thing I want to demonstrate is starting at a node position at a node orientation, home base. So if I take it and I move it around, you can see it knows where it is on the screen. Now if I do a bit of a spin, you can see it shows the orientation. I'm going to put it in the middle of the table and put it at a bit of an angle and reset the position. It's at an unknown position and an unknown orientation. So now as it goes along, and maybe it goes along this edge a little bit. And now the more edge events it gets, the better. And now if you go to another edge, it'll start adjusting the position a little bit better. The more edges you go to, the more it will adjust. This really shows the effectiveness of the correction. This innovation has exciting potential in revolutionizing the pundit's navigation. Our project topic is the study of the environment effect in the soil and wheat crop because it's one of the most important sources of energy in Saudi Arabia. Design and program to show the solution. These are the normal average for zinc and iron in the soil. And this change is caused due to the lack of iron and zinc quantities in the soil. To uh, Just to clarify the, the idea and how it looks in real life. We are here to present the COVID-19 rover. The COVID-19 rover is an autonomous rover that will humidify the air in hospitals and other high traffic areas. Medical workers have a higher infection rate than non-medical workers. Coronavirus is a virus that affects humans and animals. An environment that is kept at 40 to 60 percent humidity level decreases the transmission of a virus by 30 percent. Here, the humidity is at 63 percent. This is our rover. This rover, they, under here are the three line trackers that use infrared sensing to tell how, whether how light or dark the line is so that the rover can follow a black line on a white surface so hospitals can customize the track any layout they want. And here's the demonstration of our rover. So we are going to show our AV tunnel with a transportation system designed for safety reasons, both for transport and the pedestrians. When there is a red light, transport stops. When there is green light, that means both pedestrians and the transporter will move normally. We use the controllable LED light to use the EV3 color sensor to detect the brightness of the LED tunnel and check out the movement of the robotic arm. The first assembly producer procedure begins the when the laser beam emitted by the laser sensor being blocked from the tunnel by the rocket transporter. That means the assembly procedure has been completed. The laser okay. sensor then activates the program of the LED tunnel. The rocket transfer will move again when the red light of the LED tunnel goes out. The rocket transfer stops again when oh. it arrives at the assembly station. Oh, no, oh, no. There is an ultrasonic sensor under the assembly station. The robotic arms will put the second part of the rocket on the rocket transporter with a the countdown bar is made of a wood box, LED lights and ping pong box. The launching area is building with metal. When the rocket change spot put the rocket into the launching area, the ultrasonic sensor will change the program and the, open, the, and the door will open. The countdown bar will count down for 5 seconds. In general, our project is capable of classifying the different solid waste. So we decided to create this prototype because in Mexico and the world uh, have a problem to classify different solid waste. This prototype uh, creates and we also verify the importance of the environment preservation and the relevance of classifying the different solid waste like a lifestyle. Using different types of sensors, which are sound, inductive, capacitive, and infrared. Having the sensor, we decipher multiple types of combination in the sensor to know what type of red suite is being detected and thus correctly differentiate between similar materials. For the metal, we are using the inductive sensor and capacitive sensor. For the glass, we are using the sound sensor and capacitive sensor.
And finally, the organic material, we are using the capacitive sensor. My presentation is Project Gogo. COVID-19 is a highly infectious disease. Most tests are delivered locally by car or truck and traffic can cause even more delay. A possible solution for these uh, issues is to use drones. Here's my drone that I built. It's a standard DJI F450, F450 frame with a Pixhawk flight controller. Um, the Pixhawk also sends out output using their cables and the Raspberry Pi is powered by a rechargeable battery. And the reason for this is because of the inability of the 5 volt DPI open to maintain a steady voltage. And the Raspberry Pi communicates with the Pixhawk using the GPIO pin and the Siri serial songs reports that are actually on the Pixhawk itself. Uh, the LiDAR on my drone it uses an Ethernet connection to my Raspberry Pi to use a static IP rather than DHCP protocol. That way I don't have to use an external router to send the point cloud, point cloud data back to my Raspberry Pi. So here's how I interface my uh, Raspberry Pi with the Pixhawk, and that's shown in the diagram on the right. I use a portable charger to power the Pi from the mic. So, a uh, drone kit is a Python package that I use to fly my drone, drone autonomously. The script on the top right shows it that it's going to fly to a certain altitude, and once it reaches that 95% of, uh, of that target altitude, it just goes back down and lands. So, uh, here's how I integrated my LiDAR with the drone, and it's able to map out environments. Um, the LiDAR is able to find the distance between uh, objects and recording the time it takes from the lasers being sent from the sensor and time when they return. Putting all this data together creates a 3D point cloud model that can input the uh, CSV files, and that allows me to see a point cloud model. Uh, you can see a 3D model of the sensor. Oh, there's a very good point. What's 9 million questions? Question number 1 Where is the most important pillar of the film? The first part is a um, it's a mosque like system which uh, shows a Muslim man praying and then it talks about uh, how much time is left for the next prayer. Then when you press the middle button again, it shows you a feature where you can change times, uh, hours and days so you can uh, know when it's the time for prayers daily since it changes. As you can see, as soon as the Adan start, uh, started, which is a call for prayer, the light of the tower of the mosque lit up. Uh, this is because we actually want people who are short of hearing and deaf people to know that it's time for prayer as well, so all Muslims can pray on time. Now it also shows that we can change time uh, of prayers daily uh, depending on where you are, which shows us the prayer times for each day and it keeps track of how many the video you said, uh, depending on which type you want to use. But the slot uh, times change, but we never said why. Uh, the phenomenon is caused by the slight shifts in Earth's rotation due to its ecliptic orbit. This happens because Earth's speed changes whenever it's close or away from the sun, which causes the times of day from dusk till dawn to change, and so the times of the prayer. You can automatically calculate the difference of change uh, in numbers and days, times of the uh, Our project will revolutionize the way we use EVG technology and will aid us reach new horizons and application creativity. Thank you so much for being a part of today's exhibition competition. I'd like to thank all the coaches, mentors, parents, and volunteers. Without you, especially at this unprecedented time, this competition is not possible. I also commend all the students for their excellent projects today. Thank you.